Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome back to Farming Simulator 19 with me here on the Estancia Lapacho map. Um, we've got a few things to do today. Um, I have, since the last video, uh, in fact, actually, let's just, there we are, here we are, this is it. Tractor, our fend. We have ploughed field six. And, and this is the best bit. We have plowed it and joined it together with field five, which is still growing the weed. So we've joined it together and by that definition, we've joined fields five and four together and four to six so we've got one huge field now open and available to us so all that is one field uh we've got to do some liming and fertilizing when we come to next um prepare it for harvesting we've also got field three and i've been doing some work with the fent and the quality disc to uh, reshape some of the fields, put a bit of headlands on, give me some room to hopefully turn around and stuff with machinery. And that's what I'm just about to do over here on field six now, because someone apparently says, if you sow and grow grass, which I have done, and then go over it with a quali disc, it removes the land, but keeps the grass, or the grass will grow. And I don't know why the tractor just did that. That was weird. Anyway. <coughs> <coughs> You'll have to forgive me. I'm still rather sick as I'm recording this. So. Basically, I'm going to see if what they're saying is true. If I remove... The land, it keeps the grass. But will the grass regrow? I do not know. And basically, I'm just going to put a bit of an edge on this field, you know. And hopefully, it'll keep the grassy green texture and it won't just look like the muddy path we've got there and like we've got running along the front of the field. Also, I'm hoping by doing this, I can take out a bit of this little edge here. See, this is what I was talking about here. You get grass growing. Uh, but you don't get the nice green texture beneath it. Which looks a bit weird. I would much sooner have this lovely green texture here. But if this works, I may have to go around with the plough again, create fields, seed, wait for the grass to reach stage one, and then uh, and then we can uh, use the roller here to remove it. And hopefully, like I say, keep this nice green texture. I just want to do a couple of breeds up and down just to remove some of the grass. I ain't worried about removing it all because when we plough and cultivate we'll, we'll end up removing back. I just wanted to make sure I planted enough that it was going to be noticeable. I could easily see what I wanted to uh, remove later on. And like I say, I just want to make a bit of a pathway so that when we're Working field seven and eight, we're not going to be driving all over our crops on field six and vice versa. Because ultimately the goal is to buy field seven and eight and join them together. <coughs> right, I think... 
hoodie north. I'll just do a little bit more. Just one more breed up to the top. And then what we can do, we can get the... Um, we can go along the top and put the top headland in. And then this field will be done. We'll be ready for our next... For a mass, having a massive, massive harvest on it. Hopefully, like I say, it keeps this green texture when we um, plough and cultivate later on. Now we need to run along the top. Bone grass along here. Well. Hoping it grows back. But as I say, I want to put the headland on this field as well. <clears throat> Got to go out a little bit because of where the plough first dug into the ground. Along here as well to make sure we get a good decent edge. Zoom along here again. So we should get to leave a lovely green grass texture behind. Looks better, I think, than the disgusting brown mud. <coughs> and we're not going to lose too much from the field in terms of yield by shrinking it because of what we've gained by joining them together in the first place Getting a, a good headland on here will keep hopefully vehicles from going into the trees, which would be boom, absolute godsend, especially the fertiliser. The fertiliser seems to have the most issues. He stops well short of these fields. that it's worked the fact that we've actually got it worked is brilliant love it off we go Should be fairly wide enough, I think. 
I might just come back one more strip after this and just it will just put a, a separation then between the field and the grass as well we'll put a little bit of a brown woody texture in but oh. just guarantees we've got headroom then to work the fields I have trimmed the bottom edge of the fields as well. And matey obviously did not want to pick up his straw. We didn't get the bailing job offered to us, which is a bit of a shame. We've not done that yet. This will just put a tiny little brown strip before we get back to the grass which won't look too bad I think in time once the grass has grown in a bit too bad We are losing some crop though, like that. that's the only downside to this. Yay, job done. That lovely new headland. Like well, I say, eventually when I get round to chopping down some trees, shouldn't be too much of a problem anyway. I do believe we are finished on this field for the time being. We'll take this back to the store. Jed, like I said, I did borrow some money so I could buy this and the quality, uh, the subsoiler that I used to join the two, all the fields together. Like I said, I've done headland on fields one, two and three. I've gone down the top here. I've gone across the bottom of fields four and six. Uh, I've gone down the side of field three. <clears throat> to make the path a bit wider so I've done both edges of field 3 I've done the bottom of field 3 one strip just up here open this up a bit tempted whilst I've got this out right. have another quick go along the bottom of two and one just open this up a bit more so I don't fall down into that ditch. <laughs> I've got some logs here because I cut out, I cut down another tree. There was another tree hiding just on the corner there, which was uh, tripping up my uh, my sprayer. Chop that down, and I'm going to get the um, pickup truck and sort that out in a minute. Headland. What well, eventually, like I say, if it, the grass trick works... What I'll do is I'll come back and plow along here. Um, get the uh, get some grass sown so it fills in the area a bit, so it doesn't look quite as muddy and disgusting. I'm 
we're done with this for now. I would need... Well, I was hoping we'd be harvesting today. Some of the fields haven't quite grown in all the way yet. Not sure why that is. Don't know whether that's because I've been fiddling with the um, poly disc. The areas that I've touched around the edges of the field have kind of not grown. So, here for now. One of the things I did do as well, whilst I was waiting for the worker to finish plowing the main body of field six before I went and did the, uh, the joining up of field six, was um, chop some of these logs. And I need to get rid of them now. So here's some trees. Here's some trees I cut down earlier. <laughs> We're going to get these sold. Hopefully they'll get us some good money. Oh. Oh, Hulk. Oh, don't knock the truck over. Ow. Some of these logs are big. Wait on the rear axle. Brook suspension is our kids are excited. outside making a row if I can get all these logs on in one go I would be incredibly surprised I can like find adjust some of these bits and pieces oh you know what not getting these all on in one go it's not worth the risk uh, we'll do is just pile them up a little bit easy for us so we know where they all are when we come back uh, having to root around in the bushes to try and find them Try cutting them up into as the best sort of shape pieces possible. Fortunately, these trees are quite uh, knobbly, so. They're not the straightest of logs in the world. I think so. I did think about pulling over a tractor as well, to see if I could chop off some of the higher branches. <laughs> like I say, the ultimate goal is to have my hayloft in this area. Between these trees. But in a hay barn. And then I've got a place to store grass and straw and s stuff. When we need it. No. This one's still got a bit attached to it, look. Bit that I forgot. Trimmed it. Right, so we've still got plenty of plenty of logs to be going at. Like to have got up. 
chopped off a few more of Lee, like those that bit there, perhaps. In that bit. My hay barn will go in there anyway, quite comfortably anyway. Maybe that whole arm section I would have liked to have chopped off. I'll reach it. Right, we're going to be back for the logs then. Uh, mm, straps are there? Light on the front end. <laughs> See how much money they give us for these logs then. At the sawmill. I mean, they're decent logs, so we should get some good money for them. Open. Oh, oh it's just tipping over then. was a close call with the train that wouldn't have ended pretty at all how much is he going to pay us because ideally I'd like to pay off some of the loan I took out more than I actually needed I borrowed 50,000 I'm going to get that paid off as soon as possible logs disappear 5467 nice ready for the next shipment go and pick up the um, two little bits before I forget about them Get them in. Get the other logs tossed in. Hopefully. In we're quid. I mean, that one um, delivery will already pay off five grand of the loan. Won't it? that the haven't, crops haven't finished growing properly. Bought them in the middle of their growth cycle. Right, there should be some two logs down here somewhere. Get those. Here they are. Get it round over my head. might be too long now right uh, I will 
we'll just strap those just in case. Not that they're really going to be effectively strapped below the um, thing, but it might keep them in. Not going to keep that long one in. All out. A big log pile down here then. I think I left the engine running. Doesn't matter. Okay, I love that you can like rotate objects in this year's game when you've got them in your hands then look we'll get them all in You're a big chunky bit. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Serious wood here. That's not good. Not good at all. No, you're you don't want to stay in my truck for some reason. Let's try you this way. Or there, but not. <sighs> it's like plunk. <laughs> Pick up sticks. Ah! Rush by a tree. It's on. I'm not sure how it's on, but it's on. That's on too. Some bits have fallen off, look. Oh no! <sighs> Disaster!
disaster. We lost big chunks of wood. them on there like that, that might help. These monstrous bits, isn't it? We have problems with. Stayed, just. Ideally we want the big log back on. Falling off again. Well, I'm going to make another trip. I'm going to have to come back for those last three bits because this is just not safe. <laughs> That other log still sliding around in there, look, not supported. Looks getting some work though, isn't it? We'll slow down for the corner. Hopefully the train won't try and kill us this time. Just got to check. <laughs> Should hopefully get us another decent bit of money. The repayments on that loan I took out for field, uh, field. No! Oh dear. I can pick the truck up. If it's got logs on it, I can pick the truck up. Right, let's sell those, see how much we get. 6,000. Two loan repayments. Now we just need to go back and get those last three bits. Oh, there's the train look. We narrowly avoided it. Uh, 
and our fields are still green on the edges. That's not good. Then we need to get harvest today, and we need to get crops sold. Let's go get our three last bits of tree. Hey, stop. Put the handbrake on. <laughs> okay. A couple of branches I wouldn't mind getting rid of just on here. Oh, wow, I think I'm going to need to stand on something. Maybe the little Fiat. If the trees collapse, the roof and cave the roof in on this thing, it's not too bad. Too much of a loss. It's an old tractor anyway, isn't it? This is some serious, like, um, like I say, at one point in time. Come on. Can. get to that one man let's drive around the tree a little bit see if it gives us a bit of an angle nibbly bits off nobbly bits off of this one unless that is a nobbly bit all in itself it is right that's See, you've got some bits on. <laughs> Swing this great big bit of wood round. On the roof. Oh, it's in. 
10. Need to go place all this middle bit. Perfect. Strap her on. And we can go. <coughs> Take these for a bit of a selly. That's created a little bit of a gap now for our future hayloft expansion. Bit Wibbly wobbly. Hopefully we'll get another few thousand for these. Can we pay some of our loan? Not sure what to plant on field six yet on our massive field once we've got it um, harvested. I might go for a massive, massive um, sunflower harvest. So that should bring in some money. Please, please don't tip over this time. Is sitting on its rear suspension. It took me a long time to do all the trees in that area. Tell them and give them the same treatment. But honestly, I could. Oh, the train was just coming. Just time that right. instead rid of the wood boom six thousand in the bank account So, go back to our finance screen. Pay, repay, repay. I'll leave 25 grand. I don't want to empty the coffers just yet because obviously we might need to pay some wages. We'll pick the um, tailgate up. This anymore today now. We've chopped down our trees. And like I say, hopefully be able to get that hayloft positioned Ooh. get on and do at least well actually we should be able to harvest fields four and five we do it on the old growth table no four and five aren't ready yet one and two are let's increase the time scale a bit see if we can't Ah, that's probably why. Got it on slow. Got it on slow. Increase the time scale and uh, increase the crop growth speed. And we'll get them up. I've got two fields of soybeans ready to harvest. 
bad. Good going. directly outside the front of my house. Right here. And then lights to light up that magical tree. Little fence. Hey. Right. Oh, we've done this bit now. Got a bit of a room there now. What I plan... The plan that I've planned involves placing... Oh, I can't. I don't have enough money. But basically, I'm going to whack it right in here. And that that way I can get to delivery and collection from the one side. Boom. I really need the harvester, don't I? That's what I need. We can make a start on harvesting fields one and two. Just double check, mate. They are the ones that I can harvest, aren't they? Yes. Start the harvest by missing a row. Let's, you know, let's make sure we get our crop. Of course, we have to um, do this because we can't make straw from soybeans. So we're not going to get any additional sort of harvest from this. We'll get it from the wheat, and I think we can get straw from oats, can't we? I don't know. Something to test. Go through here, anyway. And like I say, I'll get these uh, fields harvested, and if anything exciting happens, I'll bring you back. Just on my way to get the tippy truck. To the um, harvester. And I need, noticed we needed to fill the fence up with diesel. $168 worth of diesel. Ouch. So, new tippy truck. First time I've used this on one of my own harvests. Down here, my new agroliner. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit disappointed. Um, just harvested field one, one and two, and uh, we haven't got a lot of soybeans off of the fields. Despite the fact I had two fields sown. We uh, have barely got, uh, well, I don't think, we, well, we didn't even break 40,000 litres, did we? 
I don't think we broke 40,000 litres, which is not even two full trailer loads of my old tippy truck. And this one's going to be mostly wasted. It's going to be mostly empty by the time we've unloaded him. So we didn't get a very good yield that time. Who's offering the best price for soybeans? Bakery. Yeah, 39,000 lot. Uh, just under 40,000. That's not going to be a lot. We're not going to make a lot for selling this. I don't think. Unfortunately. So, let's hope that my uh, harvest on field three, when it's ready, gives us a little bit more, and hopefully the wheat and straw we can get off fields four and five, give us a bit of a, you know, a bit of an income bonus, because... Uh, I don't think this is cutting it. I mean, I've only got to technically make 25,000 to pay off the loan. Then that saves us having to worry about the interest on that each night. But it does mean we're not going to be expanding for a while if I am scratching around for a uh, you know, loose change. I mean, it, it should be different. Once we, obviously, once we get field six into production, and obviously we get something, obviously a little bit better grown and sown on field, field three, we should be able to. Uh, um, start making some big money boy beans you can have those mr. bakery man Eighty-seven thousand, actually, not bad. Not bad. Better than I thought, actually. Thought we was gonna be struggling to get uh, forty to fifty thousand. So we've got field on. Uh, how are we looking on field one and two now? Uh, field two needs lime. One and two need lime. Okay, we're going to have to use the lime machine. Get the little fear into action doing lime on our fields. Then the big boy can cultivate, can't he? He can cultivate the two fields. Get that lime fully mixed in. And then I think... Also, something I've been thinking about as well, as I was doing the harvesting of one and two, I ought to try and do a bit of a scientific experiment at some point. And I'm thinking maybe... Maybe field three could be a candidate for that experiment. Um, well, it wouldn't be so good to do it now because it's not, uh, it's not fully fertilised. There's a bit where I missed, wasn't there? Um, I want to do an experiment on a field where I basically plant a crop 
fertilise it and everything. Get it, you know, fully fertilised and everything. Get it fully grown. Harvest it. See how much we get from that field. How much of a yield we get off that field. Then what I want to do then is sow the field with oilseed radish. And then once that's grown, cultivate it in and see then um, sow the same crop that we sold originally on the field let it grow obviously fertilize it and everything and then when it's ready to harvest harvest it and see see if we get more crop off the field because we did the oilseed radish trick whether that makes any difference because it, according to the the help thing it's going to make a uh, hundred, uh, add an extra 30% to your uh, um, yield by using oilseed radish to fertilise the ground or you um, um, before you obviously plant and your next crop now 30% boosting yield could be if that's the case and that's true and obviously that's worth doing on a field like my new massively jumbo combined field Bother spraying this myself. I'm gonna let a worker do this. Do that, or she can do that. Basically, uh, I want to go in here. Get a finances. Pay off the loan. Loan is repaid. <coughs> Which is perfect. Let's get this field sown. Waiting for them two fields to... Whilst I'm waiting, I might as well crank the crop speed up a bit. See if I can't just get those fields to grow. Could do some mowing as well of course I could be mowing field 14 because that's ready to mow just realize I've just only got 90 I could have bought me hay loft couldn't I got a little bit of extra headroom now and he doesn't fall down into the swimming pool Run out of lime. Hmm. Well, I'll let this run, and as I say, I'll bring you back um, in the next episode. I think to do um, to see where we're at. As I say, I'll get the um, I'll get the, the other fields harvested off camera, and then. We can have a bit of a bit of a, a a sort of meeting at the start of the next episode to discuss what the plans are then going forward, what we want to be doing, where we're at, sort of thing. So that's what I'll do. So thank you all for watching this video. Thank you for watching this episode. Thank you for your continued support on the series as a whole. If you could please continue to leave your likes on the video, that would be greatly appreciated. And of course, if you feel like sharing the video, please do so. 
If you want to leave any comments, questions, suggestions, feedback, etc., please do so in the comment section down below. And if you're not already doing so, please smash that subscribe button. Goodbye for now.